Today we're opening rare first edition packs from 5Ds. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today's video, we're gonna be opening up a lot of awesome packs and uh, these were included in the collection that we bought and some of the packs seem to be scaled. We don't know if they all are because we did pull some ultimate rares out of some of them. So we're just gonna be opening the rest of them in this video, which includes like first edition Ancient Prophecy. The Crimson Crisis seemed to be good, but we'll see. Stardust Overdriver first dead, we have Unlimited, we have Cyber Dark Impact. So we're gonna see if those are scaled like the Tactical Evolution seem to be, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three OTS 19 packs. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. And let me know your verdict, your final verdict, because we've had some good pulls, some sketchy looking pulls, like they look like they were resealed. Let's just find out right now. All right, before we hop into it, I do want to mention we do have a Dark Crisis first edition box break available on Ruxin34.com. We only have 10 packs at the time of recording this remaining, maybe even less by the time of recording it. All right, let's start this opening up with a Cyber Dark Impact pack. I really don't even know how many packs this is, but it looks like a lot. It might be like 40 packs so we're gonna have a lot of opening today i don't know how long this video is gonna go but let's just see if we can actually pull something good because this has been kind of a bust of a collection purchase but sometimes that happens with loose packs we have a lurk wing level three barry statue of the storm winch pretty decent flame ogre vanity's call cyber ogre mystical wind typhoon degenerate circuit okay so we're starting it off without a you know a foil which is not surprising with these packs so they haven't been very good so far this, the Crimson Crisis were really good, but the thing about that is we pulled two ultis, which probably means there's nothing left, even if they were legit. So the Crimson Crisis might be, there's only a couple packs of them left, but they might be uh, a goner in terms of good stuff. Dark Tinker, Trojan Gladiator Beast, and whoa, another one of these weird misprints. BS Big Core, it's like missing the silver part of the name. That's pretty cool. I never actually saw if anybody knew if these were like big misprints or not. So I don't know if that's like valuable or not. Very interesting. So we are starting it off with a weird misprint. I mean, I guess that's not too bad. It's better like if you're going to pull a rare, it might as well be a misprint, right? Let's see what we can get. We have a, uh, how do you say that? Faustian bargain? Okay. The Sea Panther, Slip Summon, Ritual Buster, Time Passage, the Regulus. Quick draw Synchron, nice card. Oh, and there's an Ultra Rare, Yellow Baboon, Archer of the Forest, and then an Earth... Wait, you get an... Oh, yeah, you get a Rare as well. I forgot about that. I pull this guy all the time and I start a Server Drive. It's like, what other Ultras are there? Can I please get something besides the Baboon? We've got ourselves a Foil, so it seems like maybe the Stardust Overdrive, at least the Unlimited, are pretty decent if they all came from the same spot, because I know the guy I got him from got him from multiple different places, so it seems like maybe the Tactical Evolution he got from was resealed. The rest may have been normal. We'll see. Chain Healing, Alien Infiltration, Counter Cleaner, Man Beast of Aries, we've got the Straight Flush, Stray Asmodian, Instant Fusion, and Dimensional Inversion, okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Back to Unlimited, we're gonna save those first editions, I think, till after we open the Unlimited Stardust Overdrives. I wouldn't mind pulling an Unlimited Ghost Ray, though. I would not be mad at that at all. Does that mean we got a foil? We just got a rare. Okay, I don't know if that means we got a foil. Let's find out, Earthbound Wave, let's just see. Spider Spider, Attack Pheromones, Reptilian Gorgon, Spiritual Forest, Ground Spider, and ooh, an Earthbound Whirlwind. It does mean we got a foil, so we need to do three from the back from now on, because that'll spoil if we had a foil or not. Ah, oh, that was a little rhymey, you know what I'm saying? A little spoil if we had a foil. Okay, all right. Also, if you are seeing this video on Thursday, then the every pack opening has not come out yet. If you are seeing this after that, then it has. Um, I believe, unless, you know, something weird happens. But the every pack opening is very close. I made an announcement on the community tab, Twitter, Instagram. If you don't follow me in those places, it's all at Ruxton34. You guys can give me a follow there and keep up with like, you know, updates and stuff like that. But it should be coming out very, very soon. He said anywhere from finishing today as I'm recording this or tomorrow. And then after that, uh, we will, I'll have to like finish up with like, you know, getting it uploaded and stuff like that. But hopefully that'll mean Friday or Saturday. Maybe even t tomorrow, you know, you know, you don't even know. So it, it's a very long video. You know, I ed edited it one time and it took me a very, like a week or something. So I understand it's taking him a while. Very such the heaven, straight flush, straight as Modian, Insufusion, and a combo master. Very, very nice. Back to the Stardust Overdrive. So far we have a super and an ultra. Not too bad. We haven't opened too many packs yet, so we can't like freak out or anything. We have Roar the Earthbound, Solitaire Magician, Spiritual Forest, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Dark Spida. Attack Pheromones, Inferno Necromancer, Regulus, Stardust Zanglong. All right, so we didn't get anything in there. That's okay. I've been moving around the Ancient Prophecy pack. Let me just put it down there. We're not going to open that till later because there's only one pack, and that's a very rare pack. If we do pull like the Ancient Fairy, huge pull. Huge, huge pull. <sighs> one, two, three. Uh, when I'm doing Cyber Dark Impact, so we can do four. We have a uh, Senate Switch, Queen's Bodyguard, Corruption Cell A, the Blast Modian, Cyber Ogre, Mystical Wind Typhoon, Straight Flush. 
Strasmodian. That was two Strasmodians. And then an Allure Queen level five. Have we pulled anything out of Cyberdark Impact yet? I feel like it was all rare. So maybe this one might have been a little sketch too. I don't know. I feel like we have, but it's kind of a weird one to reseal, right? I mean, Cyberdark Impact, there's not even that many good cards in the set. I mean, there's a few that, like great ones if it's Hobby Pack. Really not even like great ones, like one great one in the Hobby Pack. It's a couple in the retail. Yeah, I don't know. That's interesting. Vanity's Call, Cyber Ogre, Mystic One Typhoon, Blasting Views. Because right now, I think we're over on the Cyber Dark Impact, and both of the foils have come out of Stardust Overdrive. So it seems like Stardust Overdrive is legit, which is nice. I mean, I'd probably rather it be Stardust Overdrive legit anyway, because it has the Ghost Short Chance and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know. Liquid Spider, let's see if we can pull something good. Synchro Barrier, Quick Draw Synchron, very nice. Gemini Booster, Insect Neglect, Spider Spider and inherited fortune so we've inherited a fortune of scale packs or resale packs one of the two our fortune is not looking too great right now all right fortune bless us with something good make it an ultimate rare we have blastus modi and chain healing alien infiltrator counter cleaner bear statue of the abyss justy break bear statue of the drought ritual foregone and iris the earth mother another rare another rare all right the saga of the resealed packs will they be legit will they be not corruption cell a blasts modian chain healing justy break very such of the draw i always forget justy breaks in here it's a pretty good card combo fighter flash of the friends forbidden spell i once graded a 10 on that i think it's a pretty cool card all right in ultimate rare of course not just the rare okay you know don't freak out i didn't grade any rares from cyber dark impact it seems like the cyber dark impact might not be great either because right now we have not pulled anything all right, the uh, level down, Snipe Hunter. We've got the Alien Mars. Okay, we've got the Senate Switch. Accumulated Fortune, Barry Statue of the Inferno, Chain Strike, Barry Statue of the Abyss. Oh, and <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Here's the thing. If these are scaled, I didn't mention this in the last video, but a few comments actually said it. Ultimates tend to not weigh the same as other foils, so they can seem like light packs. So speaking of the Flash of the Forbidden Spell as well, but this technically, if, if we only pull an ultimate rare, that's still a little sketch because if they're resealed, obviously you can, you know what's in the, in the pack, but if you scale it, you're just guessing based on the weight. So maybe could have just been because they scaled it out and it looked like a light pack. That's a pretty awesome card, though. Flash of the Forbidden Spell. I really like the uh, artwork and the uh, Ultimate Rare on it. So it looks good. Let's go back to Stardust Overdrive. Try something else. We at least did pull something, though. I mean, the cool thing is, like, okay, if they scale out the other foils, whatever. We get Ultimate Rares. That's what we really want. Link with Spider, Scylla. At least you can still get the best stuff. Viper, Infernity Force, Spider Spider. It's different with, like, Ghost, though. It's impossible not to see a Ghost. Apparently, they're super heavy. So uh, I've never actually scaled for ghosts personally. I haven't actually scaled anything in a couple of years just cause like, it's not that interesting. It's like, it's only if you're gonna like sell light packs and a lot of times that doesn't even work. So you might sell something with like a, you know, a foil in it. So I'm, I'm just like, whatever, let's just open everything. You know what I mean? Two, three, four, chain detonation. Let's get an ultimate rare, Jerry Lucius. We got the spider hunter, the combo fighter, flame ogre, vanity's call, cyber ogre. Oh, and then we did get a super, okay. Our theory is down the drain about the ultimate rares. We now have a keel super rare. So maybe we just had a kind of a bad streak there. That's a good thing. We are opening a lot of packs. There's a lot of packs left. Okay, these seem to be legit though. Seems like Stardust Overdrive's had some pulls. Cyberdark Impact's had some pulls. Let's just get a ghost rare and like, like, okay, these are definitely not scaled. Slip Summon, Reptilian Viper, Ritual of Grace. What if we like pulled out the wrong ghost rare, you know, like somebody resealed to put a different ghost rare in there? Fortune Lady Dark. Okay, the Fortune Ladies. I think one of those is expensive, or a couple of those Fortune Ladies. I almost forgot about our Crimson Crisis packs because they were under the Stardust Overdrive. Let's open one of these up. It's been a while. Been a while since we opened this pack. We've got the Mysterious Triangle. We've got the Half or Nothing. Trap Reactor Wi-Fi. Assault Revival. Trap Eater. Ivy Shackles. Star Blast with the Weird Error again. And then an Assault Slash. Okay, so we have another Weird Error. Very weird. I don't know what the deal with those are, but... I'll take them, I guess. Um, now we have Cyberdark Impact back up at it again. So far, back-to-back -back foils for this one. Started off like 0 for 8, and now it's pulled back-to-back -back foils. I guess we'll take it. We have the Alien Mars, Senate Switch, Queen's Bodyguard, Corruption Cell A, the Barry Statue of the Drought, Ritual Foregone, Combo Fighter, Flame Ogre, and Iris the Earth Mother. So we break the streak of foils, but that's okay. That was a good one. Let's go back to Stardust Overdrive. Mini packs will be opened in this video, so if you've enjoyed it or you're going to enjoy it in the future, just planning on enjoying it, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Here we go. Maybe you're not even enjoying it. Maybe you're hating it, but for some reason you can't stop watching, you might want to subscribe there as well. In Second Life, we've got the Time Passage, Ferenity Force, Reptilian Scylla, and the Stardust Zhang Long. We have another rare. Okay. 
Okay, this is this really is a lot of packs. All right, Stardust, come on, give us something good. So we got a rare, or just a super and an ultra out of these so far. We really want to hit something big. Spiritual Forest. There are secrets in here as well. Attack Pheromones, Synchro Barrier. We have the Gemini Booster, Insight Neglect, Bidding Destiny, Ritual Boot, or Buster, and then the Dark Rabbit. Again, another Dark Rabbit. He leaps up, down, and all around. Nobody can lay a hand on this funny bunny. He leaps up, down, and all around. He does indeed do that. Very epic. Crimson Crisis. Let's go. Let's pull something good. One, two, three. I think it was... I don't know. Let's just do this. Uh, Blackwing Boar of the Spear. Very cool. Assault Mode Activate. Seed Cannon. Ruxin Special. First of the day, maybe. Nightwing Sorceress. Metaphysical Regeneration. Eventual Servant. Uh, Desert Protector. That's the Star Wars guy. Hyper Synchron. Is it next? Or Trining Map. Okay. So I think maybe if it had been, it would have been next. I don't know. Now we have Cyberdark Impact added again. We have a few of these left. Uh, we still have a lot of Stardust Overdrive First Edition. Huh? Are we going to open all those? Probably. Let's find out. One, two, three, four. Whew. Lunar Accelerator. Abaki. Still not a lot of great pulls, though. I mean, we've opened a lot of packs. Not a lot of great pulls. Barry Statue of the Heavens. Straight Flush. Stray Asmodian. Dimensional Inversion. Okay, just a rare. Let's go back to Stardust Overdrive, which started off with a couple foils, but since then, it's kind of on, been on a really bad streak, so we really want to break that. We have the Iron Core Armor, Infernity Necromancer, Reptilian Gorgon, Ritual of Grace, Reptilian Medusa, Time Passage, Regulus, Dark Spider, and Inherited Fortune. Okay, an Inherited Fortune. One more Crimson Crisis pack. So let's see if we can pull something good here. Crimson Crisis. One, two, three. Let's do this. We have Super Solar Nutrient, Assault Mode Activate. Nightmare Archfiends. We have, oh, Verdant Sanctuary with a little ding on the edge. Okay, that doesn't look good. Protronic Borden, Descending Lost Star, Hydra Viper, Alien Overlord with the Error, and then a Morphtronic Rusty End. So another Error Guard. This is a little insane. Okay, I don't know what's going on with these. All right, Stardust Overdrive. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's pull something good. Can we pull something? It's been a little bit since we pulled anything. I, I want to do it now. Let's pull a Ghost Share. Come on, Spiritual Forest. Reptilian Medusa, Lemon Impulse. Uh, we got the uh, Faustian Bargain. We got the Sea Panther. Roar of the Earthbound. Reptilian Gorgon. Spida Spida. Lord British Space Fighter. The Lord of the British Space Fighter. All right. Cyberdark Impact. Can you bless? We got a lot of packs in this. Like We bought a, bun a bunch of packs. I didn't really realize how many it was until I was like, wait, are these resealed? Do we got to open them all? Okay, we got the uh, Linear Accelerator. Okay, I can't. You know, these very slick cards. Chain Detonator. Dark Lucia, Straight Flush, Straight Asmodian, Instant Fusion, the Man Beast of Ares, and Dark Lucia's level 6. I would love that as an ulti. Why can't we get that? Come on. Give us Cyber Dark Dragon. That would be pretty sick. Or just give us an ulti Vanity's Fiend or Vanity's Ruler. Those are both really, really nice as well. Um, I don't know. There's a Lure Queen. I mean, there's so many cool like cards we could get in here in ulti. Uh, By Road Sacrifice, Statue. We got the uh, Cannon, the Abaki, Statue of the Abyss, Justy Break, Barry Statue of the Drought, Ritual Foregone. Black Horn of Heaven. That would also be a cool ulti. I would take that as well, but we've never actually pulled that one. Stardust Overdrive. Can you bless us with something good? Because you blessed us at first, and then you stopped blessing us. Like, you completely stopped. One, two, three. We have Reptilian Gorgon. Come on, bless us. Earthbound Wave. Spider Web. Let's go. Savage Coliseum. Toon Magician. The Ocelion. Metabo Shark. You've blessed it. Wait, it's all the way up here, and then another Dark Rabbit. That's weird. A whole play set of those. Uh, not in the spot that I thought it was going to be. The Metabo Shark super rare so we officially have a super rare we will take it i guess getting low we are getting low on cyberdark impact and unlimited stardust overdrive let's pull something big alert queen level three barrier statue of the storm winds by road sacrifice statue of the torrent straight flush stray is modian same cards instant fusion man be severis and a cyberdark edge we've officially pulled another cyberdark two cyberdarks one cyberdark edge one cyberdark keel we just need the cyberdark horn i believe and then we have them all all right not bad well besides of course the cyberdark dragon but the super rare so we would have them all um what is happening here there we go one two three okay so last time it was i switched these and then it was this one so it needs to be like this no oh, wait maybe you go like this something like that i don't know uh, Reptilian Silo, let's try. The Spawn, the Earthbound Wave, Slip Summon, Roar of the Earthbound, Solitaire Magician, Wolf of Cheap's Clothing, Orion, and Reptilian Viper. We don't know if that's right or not. We got the rare in the right spot, but we don't know if we got the foil in the right spot because we didn't pull one. So we'll have to keep going. We'll have to figure that out. One, two, three, four. 
Ultimate rare. Here we go. Alien Mars. Senate switch. Queen's bodyguard. Corruption cell A. Mystical wind typhoon. Straight flush. Straight as Modian. Instant fusion. And a storm shooter. We have another super rare. Ah, very classic super rare. Actually, a pretty good card overall. I mean, not amazing. But pretty decent. Two to go. Start us over. I remember when I played in Junior Journey on MBT's channel, that card was really good because you don't have to trip before it in that. It's pretty insane. Yeah, I don't remember how to do the back trick. Let's just do this. Okay, we have a reptilian spider. Scylla, Spiritual Forest, Viper, Regulus, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. There's a head of both shark. Okay. We're getting the repeat foils again on the Stardust Overdrive. Pretty weird. We've got another guy from Nemo at it again. All right. Two packs to go. Cyberdark Impact. Let's go. Last pack of Cyberdark Impact. Let's go. We have pulled a, a lot of supers so far in this and one ulti. So that's almost normal. Accumulated Fortune, Statue of the Inferno, Chain Strike. Very Statue of the Abyss and a Blasting Fuse. So, Cyberdark came back, I think, four supers and an ulti in this, so not too bad. Now, Stardust Overdrive, let's go. Come on. Last unlimited Stardust Overdrive. Three that I have. I think I did like this or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, Falcian Bargain, Sea Panther, Slip Summon, Spider Spider, let's go. Ghost Rare. Ritual of Grace, Reptilian Medusa, Dijin, Reptilian Gorgon, and Time Passage. Okay. Those weren't great. But we do have a first edition Ancient Prophecy. And if this one is unscaled and has a Ghost Rare in it, we will not care about any of the rest of the packs. Let's go. One, two, let's just do three to be safe. Ancient Prophecy. These did not come in first edition booster boxes in North America. I think there are European versions, but they're pretty rare. So pretty hard to find these first edition cards, especially the Ghost Rare. Pixie Ring, that is dinged at the top. You guys can see that. Blackwing Mistral, that is also dinged. Least restrained a little ding. The XX Saber Fulham Knight and Sword of Sparkles. So we just have a Sword of Sparkles there. All right, let's try Stars Overdrive First Edition. Can we pull something good? Uh, this pack ripped right there. Interesting. The top rip off. Weird. Okay, one, two, three. Let's see if we can get something good out of here. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, Reptilian Viper, Infernity Force, Level Eater, Gemini Spark, Swap Frog, Spider Egg, Zero Gardener. Solitaire Magician. All right, here we go. One more. Start us over drive. One, two, three. What I do? Three. Let's do three. Wolven Sheep's Clothing. Can we get a foil? Ritual of Grace. Bending Destiny. Dark Spider. Iron Core Armor. Necromancer. Rotillion Gorgon. Mother Spider. And Regulus. Oh my goodness. There's nothing. I have a couple of these left. I just I want to pull something and see if we can get anything. You know, pull something. See if we can get anything. Kind of redundant. Tomb Magician. Also Leon. Swap Frog. Spider Egg, Woodland Archer, Dark Spider, Fortune Lady Earth, and Ground Spider. Lots of spiders, but not a lot of foils. Okay, these are not feeling too great, these first edition ones. I said one more, but I really need one more foil. Okay, one more foil, right? Savage Coliseum, Tune Magician, Asha Leon, Reptilian Spawn, Swamp Frog, Earthbound Wave, Attack Pheromones, Zero Garden again, okay, and Ground Spider. It was like the exact same pack. Okay, these first editions aren't feeling too good. And these are a good target for like, you know, resealing because they are pretty expensive. So let's see what we think. Because right now, uh, the Unlimited seems like they had some foils in them. The first edition. Oh, there's the first edition. Quacky Meru Maximus. As we said before, Ultimate Rares. You never really know. Quacky Mirror Maximus Ultimate Rare. I was not expecting that. I was, I'm like, oh yeah, these, there's nothing good in here. Uh, this is Minty. This card looks like it is, you know, originally from this pack, which is good to see. There's only four more. Let's just open all of them. Be sure. Let's just finish everything. Four packs to go. Let's see if we can pull something besides an ultimate rare. I mean, I'd be down to pull like four more ultimate rares. I would not be mad there. Okay, last time it was third to last card. So let's just do this. We have the Roar of the Earthbound, Synchro Barrier, Quick Draw Synchron, Limit Impulse, Scylla, Slip Summon, Dijin, Ground Spider, and Dark Spider. Ground Spider and Dark Spider are literally everywhere. Three packs to go in this very strange opening. It's hard to like get hyped when you're like not sure if you got scammed or not. <laughs> One, two, three, if you guys know what I mean. I uh, do this and then it was, okay, I just confused myself. Let's just keep going. Uh, we have Ground Spider. I keep confusing myself with the pack trick. Tuned Magician, Dark Spider, Gemini Spark, Gemini Counter, Spiritual Forest, Fortune Lady Dark, and the Molting Escape. Okay, not in that one. Two packs to go. So right, so far we've only pulled an ulti, which, you know, are hard to scale out. So one, two, three. We have the Quick Draw Synchron, Roar of the Earthbound, Solitaire Magician, Necromancer, Gorgon, Earthbound Wave, Catabolpas, the Witch of Fate, and Regulus, and Spiderweb. Okay, last chance at a non-ulti. Let's go. Were these scaled officially? We're about to find out. 
Okay, we're not about to find out. I keep saying that. We're not actually going to find out, but we're going to have more evidence, I should say. Three, and then do this. The rare is actually here, so let's, yeah, do a little craziness there. We have a Dying Passage, Infernity Force, Viper, Iron Core Armor, Necromancer, Gorgon, Insect Neglect, fortunately, Water, and an Earthbound Wave. So, yeah, those were not great. Those packs were not great overall. We did get a couple ulties, though, so that's actually nice. You know, like, it wasn't a complete dud of an opening, but if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Well, it wasn't that epic because it was scaled. Hopefully not more not more content like this, but the part with me in it, hopefully you like that. So, subscribe. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, and then a tie show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.